Right, the world leader in X-ray processor quality assurance instruments, now brings you a new generation of convenient, accurate, and cost-effective process monitoring equipment. We've combined the 383 sensitometer and the 381 densitometer with a serial printer to provide you with a complete process control system. This is the watchdog that enables hospitals and clinics to optimize processor performance and maintain high standards of image quality. The system will also reduce the number of re-examinations caused by poor x-ray processing and help meet the requirements of regulatory agencies and accreditation organizations. Quality control x-ray processing is becoming more of a concern to radiologists and regulatory agencies. Their goals are accurate diagnosis and minimum patient radiation dosage, particularly in mammography examinations. With this in mind, X-ray created new technology, a system that would simplify the procedure and optimize performance. First, let's review some of the common techniques used in processor control. Then we'll look at X-Rite's new generation of instruments. Initially, a film sample is exposed by a sensitometer containing a controlled light source. The light source produces a sequence of 21 different exposure levels. Each exposure level is a fixed interval apart. After the film is processed, the 21 steps of image intensity can be measured with a densitometer. Typically, the density values range from full to minimum exposure of the film. Traditional methods require using both a sensitometer and a densitometer for process monitoring. The technician must take several readings and record each one. Then calculate base plus fog, speed index, and contrast index and enter those numbers on a control chart with processor temperature. The x rite 381 densitometer has been designed to automate the traditional procedure. It reads all 21 steps on the sensitometric strip, stores the data, and calculates each film parameter, including base plus fog, speed index, average gradient, contrast index, Dmax, and gamma. All this happens in the same time required to make one reading with a manual densitometer. There are several ways of looking at the information once the 381 has read the strip. To view the calculated data, simply push the View button. Then you can sequence through all six parameters or the density values for all 21 steps. Pressing the Send and Plot buttons produces a report which lists five film parameters, plus a D-log E-curve. That's a plot of the density value of the film for each exposure step. The third data presentation option demonstrates the full power of the 381. The densitometer will store calculated data, processor temperature, the date, and the time of day for each strip that is read. The 381 will accumulate data from up to 32 control strips or as many as 12 processors. Then if you want a complete report on any processor, select the processor number and push the history and print buttons. The 381 will print a page that includes trend plots of base plus fog, speed index, contrast index, and temperature. These are the most widely used film parameters, but the 381 also allows you to plot any three of six parameters stored in memory. That's right. x rite has built a powerful microcomputer into the 381 that prepares the processor control chart for you. That could save you up to 10 hours of technician time per processor per month. If you're keeping a daily log to make sure the processor is in control, there's an added bonus in the 381. A limit test function. You simply read a reference strip that was developed with seasoned chemistry and proper processor temperature and speed. Then each time you measure a control strip, the 381 will compare those readings with reference strip data. The display will indicate if the control strip data is within or exceeds the limits you have set. That's a convenient alternative to your daily control log. If you're using densitometers, 
you'll be pleased to learn that the 381 is self-calibrating. After each reading, it checks zero calibration and corrects for any drift that may have occurred. The 383 sensitometer is a completely new design. It has improved accuracy and a better unit-to-unit -unit consistency on green film. A new feature allows you to adjust exposure time. This can be used to match the range of the 21-step exposure to different film specifications. As you can see, the 381 process control system makes it much easier to monitor X-ray processor performance. Now all you need to do is expose and develop sensitometric strips, then insert them into the 381. We've eliminated all the traditional busy work and the possibility of error. Technicians can now concentrate on what they've been trained to do, and they'll be spending very little time verifying that each processor in your hospital or clinic is developing film properly. The x 381 system, consistent, accurate data, requires little room to operate since there's no external computer to take up bench space. The 381 system is cost-effective. It saves valuable technician time, and you like the price. Simply call your x right dealer for the good news. x right technology to help you maintain high standards of health care. This portion of the video will deal mostly with the operation of the S381 system. Just to review, the S381 system includes the x right 383 sensitometer, which is a portable dual color sensitometer, blue-green sensitive. We'll also, it also is battery operated, so it is portable. Also part of this system, the 381 itself, which is a transmission densitometer designed to scan 21-step film wedges produced by the 383 sensitometer. Add the Hewlett Packard ThinkJet printer and the system is complete. The ThinkJet printer basically will print out your reports as far as a process monitoring log and a D-log E-curve. The first step in operating the S381 system is the use of the 383 sensitometer. The 383 sensitometer is used to expose the x-ray film or the cine film used for the processing conditions. To operate the 383, simply turn on the on-off switch, select your correct exposure for the type of film you're using, blue or green sensitive, and insert the film wedge, making sure the film comes to the edge of the stop and is centered underneath the exposing platen. Then simply press and wait for the tone. If the tone doesn't sound the batteries are too low and they cannot produce an accurate exposure and will require the changing of the battery. Once the film is processed, we then move to the Model 381 densitometer in order to analyze the step wedge itself. The Model 381 densitometer, as we mentioned before, is a portable standalone device designed to scan a 21-step wedge and then calculate your control parameters based on the readings. The Model 381 densitometer itself is operated by the four four function keypad. This densitometer also is battery operated. It's charged by six rechargeable NICADs. These batteries, generally the unit can operate on battery power alone. The unit will warn you when the batteries are low. We have also equipped it with electrical outlet so that when the batteries do become too low to operate the system, you can plug it in and operate the system and recharge the batteries. This unit's also equipped with an RS-232 computer interface and that's what this port is used for right here. As I mentioned earlier, the 381 system operates on six rechargeable NICAD batteries. When using the 381 on battery operation alone, the unit tends to go to a rest position when not in use. The display will shut down and no operations will be active. In order to power the unit back up for use, simply touch any of the keys on the keyboard. The unit will go into a self-test to check everything to make sure it's in proper working order and will be at the main menu ready to read strips. If you desire to use the electrical option, simply connect the electrical cord to a standard wall outlet and then insert it into the female jack. When the unit is on electrical power, 
the display will will stay on at all times. It will not shut down to a rest position like on the battery operation.